Hello. In this tutorial, I will show you how to model objects as a baseball hat using the surface modifier. Before start, you should have a previous knowledge about the basics of 3D Studio Max. For this, you can check my other tutorials on the webpage www.macrotutorials.com. We need to load a picture in the background of the viewport to use it as a guide for our model. Select a viewport and press Alt and B on the keyboard. This window appears. And, clicking on Files. You can choose the picture file. Once selected, click on Open. We don't need the animation, so I will leave it like this. Here select Match Bitmap, and make sure that is enabled Display Background, and Lock Zoom and Pan. Click on OK. And is ready. If you need more info about this, you can check my other tutorial about how to set up an image or video in the viewport background, in the webpage www.macrotutorials.com. Do the same with the left viewport. Press Alt and B. Click on Files. Select your picture file. Click on Open. Match the bitmap size. Enable the display background in the lock of zoom and pan. Click on OK. And is ready. In this tutorial we will need to use the snaps toolbar. To make it appear. Right click on an empty space in another toolbar. And this list appears, here. Select snaps, this way. And, here is the snaps toolbar. This, contains some buttons that help us to draw shapes like lines, circles, arcs, and others accurately. We will start, drawing a circle that will be the base of the hat. So, in the command panel. In the create tab. Select shapes. Here, click on circle. The mouse pointer becomes into a cross. And, in the snaps toolbar, select. Snap to grip points, and. In the main toolbar, make sure the snaps toggle is enabled. This button, here. Now, when you move over the grid appears this blue indicator, C. This only allows us move over the point where intersects the lines of the grid. Like this. Well, click and hold it down in the middle of the grid, and move away. And release the left mouse button. Now we have a circle perfectly centered. This is the base of our hat. The next step is draw the crown of the hat, so, select the left viewport. And, in the command panel. On the section of shapes. Click on arc. And, in the snaps toolbar. Enable the option of snap to vertex, this allows us to draw the arc exactly over the vertices in the circle. So click in this side of the circle. Like this, and hold it down while you move to the other extreme. And here, release the mouse button. If you moves up, this becomes into an arc. And as we have also enabled the option of snap to grip points. You can raise accurately the arc. Now, select the front viewport, and do the same. The arc option still is active. And as is already active the snaps, just click in the extreme, and hold it down. And in this extreme, release it. Now, raise the arc, to the same height of the other. And is ready the shape for the crown of our hat. Now, on the left viewport. Make a line, to use it as guide for the brim of the hat. So, in the command panel, click on line. And in the snaps toolbar, disable the button of snap to grip points. And click on this vertex, here. And other click, here. Now, unify all these shapes. As the line is already selected, on the modify tab of the command panel. Click on attach. And click over the circle. And on this arc. And, this other. Now apply the surface modifier. Clicking here, you can see the list of modifiers. And rolling it down. Is the surface modifier, click on it. And, we only can see one surface. The circle. This is because the surface modifier requires that the shape is closed and it have three or four segments. If you have more segments or edges, the modifier don't work. But this can be fixed easily. To disable the surface modifier, just click on the little light bulb at the left side. Here. Expand the line components, clicking in the plus sign at the left. And, select vertex. All the vertex becomes visible. See. We will connect this for vertex. In the geometry group. Here. Enable the option of connect. And click on refine. Now, click on the first vertex. And this window appears. The program is asking about refine the line or just connect it. 
enable don't ask again, and click on only connect. And now click on this vertex. Is easy click exactly in the other vertex, because the snaps tool is enabled. Now, the third. And the last one. And to get a closed line, click on the first vertex again. To finish, right click anywhere. Enable the surface modifier, clicking on the light bulb at the left, here. And, this looks like dark. This is because the normals in the surface are pointing the inside. To flip those, click on surface. And down here, click on flip normal. Now, looks better. But, at the top doesn't. To fix it. Disable the surface modifier. Clicking on the light bulb. And in line, select segments. This way. The two segments in the top of the hat are intersected, but don't share a vertex where they are crossing. That's why, the hat doesn't looks good. If you select this segment, and click on break. Here. And click more or less in the middle of the segment. This vertex appears, see. Now, click the other segment. More or less in the middle. And there's the other vertex. Right click to finalize. Now, select all the vertices that we create. In the command panel. Here, in the window with the modify tab. Click on vertex. Select the vertices. And, in the command panel. In the geometry section. Click on fuse. This does not weld the vertices, this only put all them together in the same position. If you enable the surface modifier, and clicking on surface, you can see that this looks better. As the point of junction of the brain is further back than this vertex, we can break this segment. So, in the command panel, here, select segment. Click on this segment, and, click on break. Now on the segment that we have already selected, click on the point where they join the brain and crown of the head. Here. Now, change the viewport. And do the same on the other side. Click this other segment. Is ready the vertex to connect the brain. And, right click to disable the break tool. Now, we connect this vertex, to the other in the extreme of the brain. So, in the command panel. Make sure that the connect option is enabled. And click on refine. And click over this vertex. And now at the other vertex. And right click. Now, these two vertices are connected. To follow the shape of the brain. Select vertex, here. And, click on insert. Here. And click on this place in this segment, and now the line moves with you. Click again over the shape. Like this. As the insert tool is already enabled, do it again. Click on the location that you want to place it. And is ready. Right click to finish. This needs a rounded shape. So select this vertices. Right click, and this list appears. Here, select bezier corner. As I showed you in my other tutorial about how use the lathe modifier, this yellow lines help us to indicate the tangent of the line in these points. So moving it, you can match the image in the background that is our guide. From this viewport looks good, but we need to adjust this new vertices, from other views. So, select these two vertices. And, on the front viewport. Adjust the tangents to match the guide image. Back at the left viewport, do more adjustments. We already have half frame, to so don't have to repeat all this on the other side, we will use the mirror tool. This tutorial will continue. Find the second part of this tutorial in www.macrotutorials.com.